What's going on, my little freaky deekies? That's right, you've heard correctly. It's time for the one and only pumpkin flavored podcast. That's right, this is the voicemail dump truck for your Thursday, October 12th, 2023. We've collected a gaggle of pumpkin enthusiasts to be your tour guides on this week's route of picking up dumps and just redistributing the garbage across your neighborhood. That's the kind of affair we operate here. My name is Jeff Bacalar. I'm joined by a man making his triumphant return from somewhere, parts unknown. Jeff Grubb, how are you? I'm doing great. Glad to be back. Um, I, I missed you boys. I hope you guys didn't burn the place down when I was gone. It looks fine. looks okay, but who knows? Maybe you burned it down and rebuilt it in the time I was absent. Uh, no, because... Uh, we discovered while you were gone that, man, you do a lot. So <laughs> I, I was sure you were going to say that we don't need you. <laughs> I'm no. sure you were going to say that. <laughs> Isn't that in nice? Fact, in fact, uh, the exact opposite is true. Um, I mean, you should have seen Mike while you were gone. He's just inoperable. Just yeah, oh yeah, a lost puppy. Mess. I absolutely he was, he was curled up in my sock drawer when I got back. I found him there. It was it was pretty pretty cute. Pretty cute. It smells like him. <laughs> okay. That's a little too real for my comfort level. Uh, <laughs> don't do that again. Just true. Yeah, again. <laughs> Mike Mike Minotti's here. How are you? Hi. I'm good. I smell like Jeff now because of the socks. <laughs> mm. You know. Uh, well, I want to get to that. Pretty, putting dirty socks in my drawer. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> why do you do that? The I'm a very weird person. Back Pumpkin here. spice Jeff socks. Let's do it. Oh God, Jeffrey uh, Spice. And then the one and only Jan Ochoa coming off a hot birthday. Mm. How you doing, bud? Doing great. I, I, my partner tends to overcorrect because she feels like she doesn't do stuff for my birthday, and she was like, "All right, we're gonna get two pies." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." No one eats the pies at the house except me. Just get a slice. And then she was like, okay, I'm in line for three pies now. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. Just, just one slice. One slice. You want the pumpkin or the pumpkin cheesecake? I never like cheesecake. Just go for the pumpkin. Okay. And then apparently there was a fight at the Nations. So it was sick. Oh, all right. So a jam-packed, event-filled birthday for Did you, she record Jan it for Ochoa. you? She's like, happy birthday to you and recording the fight or anything like no, that? Or what? No, very inconsiderate. I just sat here at my desk <laughs> while all this excitement was happening. Man, okay, well, that sounds nice, too. My birthday wish, and this is probably a, a terrible wish to wish upon the world, I want World Star to come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that seems... No, I What's kinda, that? I don't... Uh, well. World Star. I'll show you next time. I'll uh, we'll mm. record it and make it happen. Okay, okay. All right. What about? I feel like I haven't felt the same in life uh, because they stopped in hip hop songs yelling or whispering swag uh, every like <laughs> five, er, like five, ten seconds. And I feel like we need to bring the swag era back. Giant Bomb is now entering our swag era. Swag. No, no. no. Can we still punch down? Like no, no, no. We're also punching down with swag. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. <laughs> So I'm just letting everyone know other. that, like, at any point or another, I will just, as you're talking, I'll just go, swag. Wh right. Which which songs were the were the gang gang songs? Which which one? Where do I have to go to find gang gang? It's like a couple songs. Right. Swag. It's not like a, a genre. There's no gang gang genre, right? Swag. No. <laughs> oh, see, he's doing it. <laughs> I don't know what anyone's talking he's so, about. He's so good. <laughs> He's so good at this. Look, I'll let you do whatever you want this week. Swag. You only turned 26 once, so. Whoa, I turned it again then. Okay, <laughs> well, six times in your case, perhaps, but a very big happy birthday. Um, I, you know, enjoy them while they still feel good is all I can tell you. Although I, you did tell me yesterday, everything hurts now. My, I'm getting random miscellaneous knee pain, and I have no idea yeah. why. Yeah. Only one that, knee. Oh sure, they it's not a, it's a asymmetrical uh, pain, like for sure. That's I was hoping it'd works. be asymmetrical, so at least it'd be balanced while I'm hobbling around, you know. Exactly, yeah. That would just look like a swag walk if you were doing it like that. But wow. otherwise, swag. just looks like a hobble. Yeah, a oh, hobble, man, ha hobble hope, has no swag. No I hope swag. Mitch. I hope Mike gets in on this. I really do. I don't um, think there's a chance of that happening. There has to be asymmetrical pain, Jan, because then our bodies would not be able to like compensate, and we would just fall apart. You I was yelling I mean? at my yeah. dog. What do you want me to get in on? Swag. swag. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to start screaming swag here any second. That'll happen. Swag. Oh, Isn't yeah. That, that's there the you stuff go. I that's... got at E3. 
Yep. Yes, yeah, stuff yes. we all get. That's right. That's correct, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Swag, swag. The inflatable Dragon Age Inquisition sword. You're right. Do you think, Mike, is your favorite uh, tomato sauce swagoo? Oh, my, <laughs> oh my dear. No, I made my own sauce uh, yesterday. Two days ago, I made my own sauce. I might get my own with the San Marzano tomatoes. And oh, I like Mama to use Mia. the shallots instead of the tomatoes. And, yeah. oh, you're like, like the only... Like the grandma used to make. I feel like you're one of the only Italian people I know that has to like convince people you're Italian. What's that, <laughs> <laughs> What's that <laughs> What's I that? don't doubt oh. you, Mike. What is that? What Man. is that? Wow, that's cutting I, deep. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a deep cut. It's just, uh, you know, I didn't mean it to be. Uh, What's going on so here? Pale. I think it's the paleness. My, uh, my older brother has like the pale. real. You're oh, not pale. The, the light's doing so many favors for me. Uh, I've no. seen you in person. You have like mm -hmm. olive colored skin. No, my older brother has the like dark olive colored super Italian skin. And like, I hope he's not listening, but I've always been so jealous so jealous of my brother's skin and i'm stuck with this eastern european side of my family just paleness God, no yeah, well. the eastern europeans out there <laughs> but i hate the genes you gave me sure <laughs> we, all I can we hate your skin ugly skin all i can say when paleness comes into the conversation is cry me a fucking river is what, uh, <laughs> that was my. that's almost a wrestling reference now mm. almost I don't. What is it? Get it out. What is? I, what is? Oh the actual no! Reference? Luke Perry's son. Said yeah, Crimea, Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy said Crimea right, River, right, and the then thing. it caused the oh, whole I thing. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. And then we hit the wrestling quota for today, so that's very good. Uh, um, what else is shaking? Are you Are you all feeling good about the start of the NHL season? Is that? Yeah, feeling real good. Feeling Yo. good. I'm, not, I'm right in the middle of my uh, fantasy league, uh, the video game industry fantasy league, hockey league. It's. Uh, Last year I finished like second from last, but this year I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a really good mediocre job, and that's uh, gonna be in the, on the back of Roman Yossi almost exclusively. We'll see what happens. Wow, good luck with that, but yes, thank you. <laughs> I need it once Appreciate again. It. Feel like this happens all too often. The coincidences of your Red Wings playing my Devils tonight. That's a good a point. Deal, you know, uh, weird. So. Uh, last year we did a bet and I had to wear a new, a New Jersey devils, uh, uh, Jersey shirt thing. I still have that. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind doing that bet again if you want. Sure. For okay. tonight. <sighs> yeah. For tonight's game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're on. Very okay. good. Cool. Mike, are you okay? okay? I know. I, I should really get into the Pittsburgh Penguins this year. Just so I can like, we all got a team, right? Bar and grub. Yeah. Or... I got, I, I mean, can... I, my, you... my... go ahead. No, I was going to say, like, y you know, uh, maybe getting on the, the Penguins train right now is like, time. it's not the best. Well, I uh, used to be a sports, sports fan. fan. That sounds yeah. great. Yeah, yes. I, I want to root for shitty teams. That's where I feel most comfortable. Yeah. So I would like that. Uh, yeah, like, like le legit, like the Lions are good and I don't know what to do. I, like, <laughs> yeah, it's this weird. Is so we like they have been bad for literally ever never been in a super bowl they've won one playoff game ever and that was when i was eight years old uh and then ever since then it's i mean they're like the first team to ne never win a game in a season all this stuff they are way worse than even the worst teams you're thinking of in the in the nfl and now they're kind of like this world beater and i'm just like uh yay that's gonna be fun that's just gonna be nervous cool. like, yeah, ner happiness. like yeah yeah i mean well, uh, we're supposed to have like all the swagger, and the team does. But as a fan, right. it's right. really hard to come in there with that. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, it's just a bummer that like no matter what sport you like, the people that run it are fucking pieces of garbage, right? That's oh, isn't uh, that the worst part? Yeah, that's every yeah. sport, I guess. Yeah, you know, all, yeah, it's all of them. Yeah. Uh, that bothers me a great deal. Um, you don't think Gary but, Bettman's a good person? No, he sucks. <laughs> he uh, and I hope he hears this lot. because you fucking well, suck, you piece of shit that's the uh, nhl guy that's that yeah NHL. that's the nhl guy. for sure um yeah. it's 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 upsetting look i don't know what to say anymore sometimes i just gotta shake my head and uh look to the sky and uh wow. in disbelief well, i know you um, said we had our wrestling quote but at least the guy who runs uh aw is completely normal on twitter and oh very no <laughs> i was oh, I, no. I was on vacation he's he's kind of gone a little eric bischoff right like where he's he, like he's feeling yep. the pressure Yep. Well, yes. he, he made he the pressure himself, clear. though, is the thing. <laughs> like, well, I bet the coke helps. I think if, the, if you do enough coke, <laughs> it, you can just yeah. do, do the blow through it and you're going to be good. Yeah, you know, like I, I, used, I used to think that was a meme. And now I'm like, maybe he is just going absolutely nuts 
on the cocaine. You know, yeah. I when 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 CM Punk said he was working with a bunch of children, I assumed he was talking about his fellow wrestlers. Now I think it might be someone at the top. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you think Tony Khan can manage a target? <laughs> well, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Probably no cocaine policy over there. <laughs> Mostly cuz he like all right, guys, we're just going to have the best shopping carts. Just going to fixate on one as aspect yeah. of the shopping experience. They already have pretty good shopping carts at Target. Exactly. What? You're not there for the shopping yes. carts, but he's going to insist that you are. What's the last time you were impressed by a shopping cart? Because I got one the yo. other day at a grocery store, and I was like, this is a smooth ride. Oh, yeah? Yo, yo, what, yeah. what about yo, 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 yo. it? What about it? It felt like it, it, it just felt like it wanted to glide on its own. Uh, that was good. Then I tried to turn it, and it was like, not nah, it didn't have great cornering. But I'm 40. I'm going to be 41 years old is what this conversation is. So it's like I'm excited about grocery Not, carts. Nothing was funnier to me than when, like, uh, all the, the the super angry, we don't like woke stuff uh, people were like, we're going to boycott Target, too. I couldn't call a bluff faster. <laughs> like, you, like, you're whiter than me. You can't live without Target. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Ikea like, no has the best that cart. For a second. Ikea? Ikea? Ikea because they Don't got they, the, the they got the eight the way movement. Bed. No, 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 just oh, like the their carts. Oh, oh right. Really? They're oh, like yeah. an office chair. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, they have to because you have to maneuver those things through like their maze their display maze. store first, right? right? And then there's the shortcuts when you like want to go back and stuff, and they're like really tiny and hidden. Yo. So you gotta you're gonna have to like. I mean, I love yeah. Ikea. Dude, I like, Ikea those in a while. those carts are so amazing because then you can like drift around a corner or like drift. do the thing. When you're like, you're just going down an aisle straight. You don't got anything in the, the cart yet. So you could just like spin that bad boy around and like catch it at the handle. Feel like a real Thank cool you. guy. Mm. Yeah, it's also, like devil sticks turn into a grocery cart. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I'm, I'll do Jim Gymkhana in a fucking Ikea <laughs> cart. Uh, at their smaller food court, at least the one near me, they started doing, you know how they'll sell, sell the soft serve, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. They started doing a meatball sundae. Which is basically what? just three meatballs and like a small amount of mashed potatoes. It's delicious. Oh, okay. So, okay. Sure. okay. Sounds great. We, yeah, we right. got to be careful with ice, ice cream and meat when we do yeah. that. Sure. Yeah, did you hear um, me disparage mashed potatoes? I'm no, sorry? I didn't. No. Yeah. When would you do that? I did that on oh, the bombcast. Oh, on the bombcast. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, I kind of feel bad about it, but I did believe it. To who, though? Who do you feel bad about? Oh, uh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the Irish. Robbie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the feelings of Matt. Sorry, potatoes. Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the Irish. They don't have feelings with the mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the problem with mashed potatoes? I like mashed potatoes no, a I lot. Just think they're, they're I just think smooth. they're overrated. They are not my favorite form of potatoes, even close. I'd rather have yeah. well, I, scalloped, uh, 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 fr fried, a uh, baked, a uh, diced, a hat. A brown, like mashed potatoes are fine, but I, I think they're overrated. I, I think, you know, it's better left unspoken about when it comes yeah. to certain food takes. I've decided I, I thought about this <laughs> Tuesday night after the fucking fruit situation. I was just like, you know what? Like <laughs> oh, some things just have to, we just have to let some sleeping dogs lie, right? Like we just have to like, oh, yeah. we just can't be too involved in, in the blasphemous no, what talk that is like, gracing our podcast so uh, we better just leave it alone and move on is like I, 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 I enjoy i enjoy reading the people uh, online like try to cycle analyze me <laughs> i just read it <laughs> mike just we, oh, we see, got well, you're what's wrong i with love you, it mike? we got <laughs> a very long email today explaining why they think you you react to fruit yeah. <laughs> exactly. all right well i would people can't help themselves like, i would like to read that what's wrong with him <laughs> Uh, going like against going against everything I just said, I would like to read that. So whatever, fine, <laughs> yeah, we'll read forward, that. Forward that to Bacalar, yeah. Forward, just give me that. I want to read that. <laughs> forward it to me. It's about me. I <laughs> look, can't, can't have everything <laughs> we want, Is it going to do anything, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> no. It's not going to change anything about you. So <laughs> come on. laugh at it. We can, exactly. we can fix them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, baby. Well, just pictures uh, of fruit on this thing I'm drinking. This diet green tea. That's a lime and a yeah. orange. Wow. You're very mature. It's and a taking, lemon. It's taking all the willpower in the world not for you to rip that label off, I bet. Um, <laughs> it is a little distracting. Look, I'm happy uh, Halloween is is in the air. Um, there's yeah. candy in my house. There's Ooh. there's so much, so much, so much bullshit in my house. Um, blueberry? 
Blueberry? No, blueberry. blueberry. Not blueberries. Those are disgusting blueberry? fruits. Blueberry. <laughs> cereal. Would, no, no, no. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a child. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm not, come on, I'm not a child who eats like sugar cereal. Like I don't. Understand I don't that. either. But the one time grape, I like grape nuts. Yeah, yeah, let's go. The one I mean, time like, I like sugar cereal is Halloween when I get my wood box of booberry and I'm like, all right, this is my little treat. Every now and then I walk in the kitchen, just get a little booberry, pop it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, just a little, little yeah. treat for Mikey. Mm-hmm. I'm a big dry cereal guy, like for sure. Yes, I support that. Sure. Like, I, but not with a spoon in a bowl, but like just, yeah, just like snackable. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. In fact, are you under the assumption that there's healthy cereal? Because uh, there's definitely yeah, not. No, I think like, I think like Kashi. I think Special K yeah. is probably better than most. Yeah, that, um, that marketing definitely worked. I agree, but no, it's it's all there's <laughs> really? still a, yeah, absolutely. There's it's there's not be healthy. Better like eating, it's it's better than eating no, like the pure sugar ones. For eating sure. I mean, it has to be better than eating Lucky Charms. I mean, it's it's a lot of carbs, which is all just yeah, sugar. It's and sugar. It'll break and, down. And, and, and it's sugar. not. And it's. I mean, just, just when they've done the research, no, there's no, no difference. It's fine. Right. Yeah. Just just so if you're gonna eat cereal, just go nuts. I've been, uh, that's that's guess, my philosophy. Yes, absolutely. Hey, yeah. you know, things? we we may have a cereal uh, thing that's gonna might sponsor us again. You know. Okay. So, uh, you know, oh right. You know. Oh. I I did enjoy the Magic Spoon stuff. I did. I never had that. Yeah. Well, Mike, the, in one bowl well, of magic spoon. And you'll be convinced. Um, <laughs> so, like I said, a lot of candy, a lot of crap, a lot of like, a lot of like new stuff around the house. We got some sandworms. From what Beetlejuice. are sandworms? Oh, cool. I was about to Beetlejuice. say from Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Beetlejuice okay. sandworms. Do they just come... like, is it stick out of the ground? Yeah. So Ooh, it's like three, cool. there are three segments. Mm. And, you know, you got like the middle body, the head, and then like the little tail sticking out. And I thought that was fun, but That's you know, very fun. it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Uh, and I do love Halloween, but not nearly as much as my wife my who wife. almost wife. ruins it for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, trying to, trying to be happy in, in as, as best we can these days. All right. <laughs> hey, you're a real soldier, real trooper. Yeah. I'm trying to do what I can. <laughs> um, goddamn let's, let's get into some voicemails on this voicemail dump truck. What do you, what do you all think about that? Okay. Is that, is that, oh. Oh, someone's here? gone. Oh, is that a special yeah. guest? Who's was there? That, is that like the new sound? Do we have a new sound? Oh, I just I thought know. across the board, uh, we need more sound board okay. stuff. Sure. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Cool. I support that. Swag. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's, let's pivot to Jeff Grubb back in town. Picks the first voicemail. Yeah, uh, I'm going to select Mike Minotti. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. Uh... Mike Minotti, Mike Minotti, Mike Minotti, Mike, Mike Minotti, Mike Minotti, Minotti, Mike the Minotti. I just fucked up his name. Mike Minotti, <laughs> Mike Minotti, Minotti, Mike Minotti, Mike Minotti, Mike Minotti. Mike Minotti, Mike Minotti, Mike Minotti, I'm sorry, I fucked up Mike's last name a bunch, but I <laughs> wanted to sing a Mario World. Okay. That's, that's beautiful. Thank, thank you, Colin. Took me a second to see what we were doing there. And, yeah, uh, I think, I, great. I, I, will, I do think that's maybe one where a, a few Michael Minotti's may have fit with the uh, flow a bit more. Michael Minotti. Michael Minotti. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there is a tee in there. You're right. A little tee hee. You, you, you have to come up with creative ways to add some syllables every now and then, <laughs> but just about everything works. I love you know, it. You also just add sucks at the end. I think that's a good way to do it. Nah, that's bad. That's hate. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's hate speech. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. You know, he was in a bad way while you were gone. You can't. You know, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Using like right this out. on your yeah. return uh, like that? Is, yeah. By you know. the way, I, I've been thinking about this. Is it, I think there's nothing more Italian than like being really in your face about how Italian you are to other people. <laughs> Oh, so someone's, uh, I think he struck a nerve back a lot. <laughs> I know. I like, as he was saying this, I'm like, how do I make this worse? <laughs> how do I continue to, to, to really drive the knife deeper? I don't know. But what we'll do first is have you pick the next voicemail, Mike. Oh, uh, I will pick Singapore Dane. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Masters of the Dump. It's Chris from Huntsville, Alabama. And... I just had the opinion that Mike's not the only one with a singable name. You ever hear that old uh, cheerleader song, 
say be aggressive, be e aggressive. For whatever reason, I've been walking around the house singing Jan the Chilla. It's Jan Jan the Chilla. It's Jan the Chilla. Jan Jan the Chilla. It's a Jan the Chilla. Jan Jan the Chilla. It's a Jan. Thanks, guys. Keep the great work. It, it actually did occur to me that, like, wait a second, Janachoa <laughs> is just as many syllables as, like, a lot of musicality in there, yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't know if you can as easily add a syllable. Like, is Jan short for something? Actually, I don't know. Janiel. Janiel. <laughs> Janiel, I'm sorry. Jan, I don't know. I don't think Janiel works in music. I'm hey, do sorry. you think Mike really believes that your name is short for Janiel? For a second, he might have. <laughs> it's Jennifer. <laughs> well, 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 to be clear. More than a second, but I believe you until just now. <laughs> I was like, okay, Daniel, cool. I like it. I like it. Don't know if it's very musical, but all right. Man, the delivery was perfect. I'm surprised how quickly you threw the fish back into the ocean there, bro. <laughs> I, I, I saw him and then I felt bad. Yeah. You're just <laughs> like, you're like, oh, just he like, believes it. I just put this poor man in a box. Oh, no. I don't want to leave him there. Yeah. Uh, I caught this thing. I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> oh, he I'm looks not going to use this. <laughs> I feel bad for Mikey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's too Italian to keep him in the dark like that. All right. Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, Daniel, why don't you have the next well, voice belt? Well, Mike. Yeah, there's a part two. Picked a second uh, one that oh, has a two parter, so he's got to hit Smooth the second move. one. Smooth move. Cool. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Back alive. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Back alive. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Back alive. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Back alive. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Back alive. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Back alive. Oh, he's got a fade out. Is he fading? <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Away from his phone slowly. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, your name sucks to sing. <laughs> yeah, it's not good at all. What, what Was that like a train situation? Like I don't uh, know the I song heard. he was trying to sing. No, do you know? I don't know. No, no that guy who did, did it to Mario definitely knew his audience. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yes, the Mario World song, of course. You think he just called him and was just like, well, I don't want to leave everyone out here. I'm just going to really <laughs> See, he could have been doing like a, a twofer because the first part, the Jeff, 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 Jeff could have been Grub and then Bacalar is obviously mm. Bacalar. Right, he zigged uh, when I thought he was going to zig. I thought, I thought all of our last names was Fucko now. This isn't making any sense. Yeah, he said, we're just talking about our middle names now. You spell yeah. Fucko like F-U-C-K-O? Is that what we're doing here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucko. Meet the Fuckos dot com. Well, how, okay. how else would you spell it? I don't know. I thought like maybe O H. Uh, oh sure. Or like F U C H O H. Okay. You know. Maybe a, maybe a hyphen in there, hyphenated. Yeah. Just yeah. so like you the can spell it pop. out. You know, you can <laughs> spell it out and not have it be uh, like flagged. You know. Yeah, we gotta make fucko pops. Of us. <laughs> fucko <laughs> pops. <laughs> oh man, we gotta make yeah. fucko pops. <laughs> That's right. gotta be a thing. We have to now spell it differently. I guess F U C H O does sound look like fucko. Like it's not. I, I don't. I think we could get away with that. Can I, I just real quick? Everything else on my computer is broken except for Discord right now. So if oh, I go cool. away for a second, oh, cool. it's just because I f that fell into the pit too. Nothing else works. Unrelated to NZXT. Just so yes. you know. Oh no no. This is definitely my router situation. Right? I have no idea. Um. Yeah, I would I I would feel good about printing fucko on a shirt if it wasn't spelled fucko. Right? Sure. Sure. I know I'm uh, putting fuck on a shirt. So. Can you just can you just do like a star for the U? Don't people do that and all of a sudden it's kosher? I, or like a V for the U? I don't know, Mike. Yeah, then then it's Latin. Yeah, yeah. let's just have it in like a fun font. Like meet the fuckos okay. and it's like a uh wing ding. Yeah, well, maybe not a wing yeah, But when you do fucko like that, it's so obvious. I don't know. Speaking of merch, <laughs> store.giantbomb.com. Go check out shirts like the one I'm wearing. Yeah. Shirts oh, like that. the brand new voicemail dump truck shirt that we got. Plus, in the coming weeks, we're going to have new stuff. A lot of new stuff. Ooh. Atypical stuff. Ooh. Atypical. Things you could maybe, you know, not just wear. But like fart in. <laughs> fart, fart. What if you could fart in your merch? We've answered that question. <laughs> Finally, science has been, an answer for you. If you've been farting in our merch, let me tell you. <laughs> You're you got the wrong size. 
You've been breaking the happened. law. <laughs> you know? you're, ahead of, you're ahead of the curve, but you're doing bad things, and now we have something for you. Okay. You pervert. Very good. Yeah, you freaks. Um, all right. Jan, uh, you didn't get to pick one because we had to play the sequel to that voicemail, so why don't you go? Uh, let's... I don't remember most of these, actually. Uh, okay. Let's go to Got Into Wrestling this year. Uh... Hey, 3AN boys. Uh, so, unfortunately, I got into wrestling this year, largely mm. thanks to you guys. Uh, my family was nice enough to join me at one of the rare live wrestling events in northern Nevada. Um, and I was explaining a lot of wrestling to them as we were watching. My question is, uh, how much talking is appropriate while watching a live wrestling event excluding chance of course uh thank you buddy from reno yield my time thank you Colin. yeah that's right uh, you got to read the room yeah uh well the people around you won't be reading the room so no. it's kind of <laughs> like, <laughs> like, right uh, here's if you are talking to your friend about things and you're not like projecting and not being like, I can't wait for everyone else around me to hear how cool I am. You're fine. You're fine. Maybe I've had, I've had situations where I've had, I've had people over for pay-per-views and like, I have like the real wrestling freaks and I have the people who mostly just want to hang out with everybody there. Cause like they're in the friend group, but aren't they? God forbid. Wrestling. Yeah, I know. I know, but yeah. it can be an awkward cause you can like tell like, you know, like the, the non-wrestling freaks don't know, like, oh, this is actually like a really good match that's happening right now, and we should be kind of paying a bit more attention to it. But they're still over there talking about, like, you know, fucking Wendy's double cheeseburgers or something. And oh, you, can, well. you can sense the tension in the room sometimes. Yeah, or about yeah. picking up their own shit, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beckler, would you know a five-star match if you saw one? I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. The, uh, the uh, high quality, right a now. good wrestling match as oh, opposed to a bad wrestling match. Yeah, like you know, my in my younger years, like I was very much ECW, which was filled with like the technicality, like very technical, like the RVD matches where he was just flipping around and all the the lucha guys, like fl- you know, doing their thing. Like sure. the I, woozy I knew th- what, what's that? The woozy woos. Yeah, and the uh, pizza. Sure. You know, like uh I knew that that was better. I knew they were more talented. I knew that they were, you know, like well, doing a better about something. thing. What's up? I, well, was, look, look, I don't I should let it go, but RVD was never in WCW, was he? He said ECW, ECW. You stupid piece of shit. This was a wow. my, This is a me problem. This is a <laughs> me problem. I after I it's After me. you get the shit out of your ears, <laughs> then well, okay, you can then. fucking I I, chime in. When people say ECW, the first thing that comes to my mind is it like highly technical wrestling. I know there was. I that thought that's what you were going to yell at him about. <laughs> I thought, but I think of fucking Sandman like yeah. gashing his forehead open sure. with a can of beer so, while he's smoking a cigarette. So that was the thing, right? Like they would do those kind of matches. Look, you, you motherfuckers, how I trapped <laughs> me into talking about 90s. Yeah, you can't stop. It's kind of you know, a problem, you know? Like, right, this is Sam the problem. Sandman was, was like a garbage man. I mean, like, come sure. on. But, uh, you know, you had like the Jerry Flynn? Lynn, what was his Lynn, name? Jerry Lynn, Lynn, Jerry Lynn's great. Jerry Lynn, Jerry Lynn versus RVD. Me. Jerry yeah, Lynn well. accidentally watched me pee one time. Okay. I don't want to know how that happened. Um, and I deeply, deeply do. Uh, who else? Like, all oh, Sabu. Like, all those dudes who were Sabu. just, like, high-flying. Like, that stuff was wild. I, I was at a couple pay-per-views in Asbury Park, maybe. Whatever. No big deal. Right. Like, cool. I, I did the thing. Like, I did the whole thing. Um, so, I have... Did- I, I have the right to speak uh, from that position, I think. A little like, bit. Did he yeah. see it? Did he see it? Maybe. What? Oh, his, your dick? Did, did dick. wait? Yeah, he might did have. Jerry, did Jerry Lynn see your see your penis? He might have. Do you? Well, I you didn't want to hear the story. <laughs> if, I want to hear it if he saw your dick. <laughs> well, okay. So uh, it was a small indie show. It was a. It was a. <laughs> it's very small. Yeah, keep talking. Yeah, so it was like in a literally like in like a ballroom kind of a thing. Uh-huh. And uh, I went to the bathroom, and there's nobody in there. So I go to the urinal next to a stall. Then I see a guy's head just kind of poke up the stall. He's like <laughs> doing like his like workout in there. Oh, his head Jesus. Pokes up, so he has a direct line down into the business going on there. 
He's just like very apologetic. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sure he was. This, this, no, he does like, this on purpose to see people's dicks. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, that, you only do that if you want to no. see the dick. It's like, that it's feel, okay, yeah. Mr. Jerry Lid. Yeah, that, that feels like a move that you do intentionally. No. Yeah, oh, man, I'm just so sorry. I'm looking at your wing right Oh, now. sorry, Look brother. Thing, though. Look, I was there. I got the vibe check. It was, he was very apologetic. <laughs> it was, it's okay. It's fine. He was, was just trying to get a pump on. Well, he, he was trying to get a pump on for sure. <laughs> Goddamn right he was. Bad choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. He's trying to get a pump. Yeah. Pump. <laughs> See, okay. pump. Yeah, very good. All right. <laughs> Well, Thanks okay, so I, I have this question as well. I feel like it's completely fine to be talking during a wrestling thing because there's so much more noise than you it's think loud, there's going to be. It's loud, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's loud. very loud. Yeah. Spoke I, during all of uh, whatever that pay-per-view uh, I was just at. It, it, the person said they were going to be at a person's house watching it. Is that what they said? Oh, or they, okay, no. That, wait, I, don't, I, mean, I can't. Wait. If you, Mike, you're muted. If you go to the person's house, I think that, that then you probably might want to be like a little bit more like, uh, what are they doing? If they're watching it and they seem like they don't want to talk about your Wendy's double cheeseburger, then probably watch the See, damn pay per view. Read the room, uh, and, and then if but if you're at a actual event, it's so loud you can just talk to people right next to you. I, I don't think you need to worry about it too much. You, I, you paid your money to be there. If, just if, don't be obnoxiously loud. Yeah, if you're going with a show with like a friend or something, someone that doesn't necessarily know, and you feel like you need to explain to them, wait for your friend to ask the questions. Rather than like being in the ear the whole time of like, this mm. is the deep lore of why these two don't like each other. This yes. person is like a five star wrestler. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, mm. definitely do that. Uh, and don't um, don't MST3K it. Like, don't be like, I'm going to commentate oh, on this. Oh, and be the, funny guy. The, the worst part is like you get a person who's like doesn't watch much wrestling. So they're like trying to like, you know, tease and make fun of the things. But it's like the things that just happen in every wrestling yeah. match. Like, yeah. you know. If you want to, like, you know, have some fun if something goes horribly wrong or something's real stupid, but it's just like, oh, that person bounced off the ropes. That wouldn't really happen if you were thrown off the ropes. <laughs> yeah, you could yeah. just stop moving your legs. Like, yes, we know. But feel free to react of like, <gasps> and, and, you know, yeah, emote I did like a, a lot normal of person. I was, yeah, I did a lot of like, wow, and whoa, you know. So yeah. I, I a played a good audience along. member. Yeah, I was, also, I was very good at that. be a good audience member by being a good hygienic human and fucking oh, take yeah. a shower yeah. before you go. Yeah, wash your ass. Sure. Before and after, if we're being yeah. honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Especially uh, if Jerry Flynn's going to see it. Quick yeah. quick cue for you boys here. Uh, I feel like I have wanted multiple times to start uh, another Twitter account mostly for to shame people that I see that don't wash their hands. Sure. Uh, oh, hmm. Jesus. That drives me so fucking crazy. I can't. I feel so dirty if I don't like wash my hands immediately. Yeah, like I you're out like, of soap and I'm like, mm. oh, OK, this is my life now. I'm walking around like this until I mm. find something because I feel feel like I can like physically feel it on my hands. Even if it's like nothing was physically on there. Yeah. It's like my hand feels red hot and I got to go wash. Yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just like getting my hands wet. It's fun. Also, yeah. you know, you're you know, washing the you. bathroom. You, you, no matter what you think about your own hygiene or whatever, fucking wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take it a step further. I can't stand when I see people in public put their fingers in their mouth. I hmm. am you, very upset what do you mean? by yeah. that. No, he's right. Just, it's like your fingers are t probably touching a lot of stuff out in public, and now you're just putting that in your mouth. Your phone yeah, is this, mostly made of shit, right? So this, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is this definitely drifts more into like none of my business. But I just whenever like if I see someone on like a subway like start like picking at a tooth with their raw finger, I am not happy, and I need to look. If away. there's something in their tooth though, and and that's really yeah, I mean, it's 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 rough. It's it's, rough. it's a balance. I I know what you what you mean, but if they got a thing in there and they got to get it out, they got to get it out. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, uh, fingers in the mouth. I mean, you're mm. allowed to be bothered by it. Yeah. I think that's that, fine, too. You know, your fingers that, in someone else's mouth, you know, uh, consent. Well, that's, that's, that's just hot. That's, that's just that's actually hot. You know. Yeah. Good. Okay. We all agree. It's my turn. And I guess, like a bitch, oh, well, <laughs> I'm going to pick geez. the one that <laughs> is made for me because I would never. I'm being trapped. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is Mikey B from Bloomington, Indiana. A uh, question for Jeff Bacalar. So are typewriters like vintage porn for you? Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Okay, I'm glad I picked that. Uh, <laughs> what, like, what is that, though? Like, where does that come from? Keyboards. I don't get it. 
What do you mean you don't get it? Typewriters are like know, old types of mean? keyboards. No, like, uh, I get it, but I also don't, like... It's vintage. I mean, just, you know, don't get don't get too caught up in the porn thing, I think. But no, just, like, I, you that's, I, I understand that. I mean, look, I... I he understands porn. Backlar gets it. And yeah. vintage porn. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. want anything made after 1999. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I need it to be 480. This should be porn on film. This should be, okay. Can't finish unless they're collecting social security for sure. Yeah. They used to have stories, damn it. <laughs> they used to have stories. They used to have like actual boom operators. Like none of this garbage now. Um, yeah. Uh, th- yes. I think in a way it is right. Like I think there's just something really special about like that stuff. So yes, as much as like, I, you know, this is a joke yeah. about how much I like keyboards. I do. I do see a typewriter and go, look at you. You, know? you were talking about a typewriter Lego set earlier this I know. week. I mm-hmm. absolutely know. I, I, I feel like I'm very close to owning like one just for display. Not even like the Lego yeah. one. But I feel mm. like I'm close to like having one just to have as like a I have conversation one. starter. <laughs> My stepmom just like gave me an old one. I still have it in like its case and everything. I should take it out just for funsies. My grandpa used to have one. It was fun to play with, although yeah, um, and maybe this is how it's like porn. Those keys can like get tangled up in each other. Yeah, you would, like sure, press all yeah. them at once, and then you, you have could, to untangle them. Yeah, it's you like could, when the penises get tied together. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you could totally tangle your Schwartz for yeah, sure. Exactly. With yeah. those. No, I feel like uh, look, there's nothing more mechanical than an old typewriter, right? Sure. Uh sure. There's a lot. There's a lot going on with that Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but yeah, we can go typewriter first. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean second. <laughs> but uh, what? What? Why is that front of mind? Why is that front of mind? Why is that the freak? Like that is so <laughs> weird. A lot of mechanics involved. That is just so in that strange. Ride. <laughs> robots. There's so many robots. Just in there. how tortured you were. You're like, you no, were, man, that yeah. fucking ride. <laughs> I know how that thing works. And oh boy, if you knew what I knew, you'd be really impressed. <laughs> Man, I love, dude, there's something so depraved about you, like, shoehorning in a conversation about pirates. Not even even shoe, he literally could not help himself. He was just like, I'm gonna burst unless I say this. It it burst forth from his spirit. I just was like, okay, I'm gonna get involved in what Backlar's saying. He said that it has to be the most mechanical, so what what can I offer as a counterpoint? But this was a keyboard thing. This was like a mechanical thing This is... Honestly, like there's so many other QWERTY adjacent things you could have said <sighs> instead of QWERTY pi- instead of Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> there's just a lot of mechanics. If you were on that recently, you know. Sure, you man. How many gears in like <laughs> uh, what? What else is in machine? Literally, the last thing on my mind about like a, oh, an old clock or something. But not nearly as many gears as in Pirates of the Caribbean. How many gears um, are in Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, probably at least like thirty. <laughs> Oh, shut up. Just shut up. Shut your stupid Disney mouth. I want to go home. I want to go home. Well, we are home. Listen, let's bring it back around. Sorry for laughing at myself. Yeah, you need to apologize. I'm just funny. I, I want to thank the caller because that was uh, that was very good. I think that was a very smart and good joke. So thank you. Thank you, caller. All right. Um, chat, it's your turn. And uh, choose carefully. Sorry. You have the next voicemail let's do go to sleep hey guys it's 5 a.m i have insomnia i can't sleep and one thought is running through my mind mike 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 minotti mike minotti mike 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 minotti mike minotti mike what do you guys do to go to sleep this is okay. So we, I don't mm-hmm. want Mike to just have the spotlight because, like, it's enough already. I mean, look what it's done to him. <laughs> oh, oh, Grub oh, gone. Oh, Grub, Grub, Grub is protesting. Grub is tired of my skyrocketing popularity. It's petty, and I just cannot believe he would act out like this. Wow, you know? Grub. So, so I don't know the the lore. Like, what is the what is the origin story of your name being singable? Oh, I was just I brought it up because um. I, I I like to sing my name to any song, and my name just works in pretty much any song. Got it. And uh, back when I was like at a pizza place working, like <laughs> everybody would say my superpower was my ability to entertain myself because I would do things like just sing songs, but with my name in it. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, that's, yep. Yep. I guess that's cool. Yeah. Sure. Um. <laughs> that's fine. 
Yeah. I didn't recognize that song, though. I don't know what song that was supposed to that be. That was like uh, Shake Sonora. Mm-hmm. Mike, Mike, Mike Minotti, Mike Mo. Is that what it was? Shake, 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 hey, Sonora. Sonora. You were just talking about Beetlejuice, Mike. Exactly. Oh, that song. Okay, yeah, the Beetlejuice song. Just say that. <laughs> it's not the, that was the song before Beetlejuice. Hey, Mike, you're mm-hmm. on a roll today. Thank you. Yeah, you really Mike, are. Mike is real hot today. We oh, strapped the rocket ship it. to him. Mike, it's nice to hear. You know, I'm doing. I want to get. <laughs> I want to get back to this question though, because this is important to me. I've lately been waking up at 5 a.m. Good. Uh, and just fucked like. 5 a.m. rolls, the sun's already creeping up. I can see it coming through the shades. And I'm just like, man, I would really like to get this extra two and a half hours of sleep right now. And I have I have like a, a 75% success rate, but I feel like I've been lucking out. And I really want to know what you guys think about What's the falling bedtime? back asleep. What's my bedtime? Yeah. Anywhere from like 12 to 1. Okay. 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 That's rough. That's rough. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's rough if he's waking up at 5 a.m. Oh, without, yeah, yeah, Without okay. his choice. Be like, yeah. Like, man, I'm, I, it, that's, but when I'm, I'm going to sleep about between 12 and 1 most nights, sometimes later, but I'm like getting up at 7 uh, to get the kids ready. And it's like, yeah. okay. That's not, I, mean, I still don't feel great about that, but that's okay. If I was waking up at 5 and not falling back to sleep on like one out of every four nights, that would be much rougher. Um, what, do you, what do you think it is? I just I no no I just, I just I just get hockey for sure and I just get like excited Vintage about porn? the day. Vintage Aww. keyboards. What, what, I, mean, uh, I just get, I just get excited to start the day. Like I will wake up at five and my mind will be like, oh, we got to do this, we got to do that, and then we got to look at this, and then maybe we'll do that. And like I'm that just excited like to start the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a little boy. I don't know. <laughs> You should really grow up a little back. <laughs> thinking about thinking about typewriters, thinking about keyboards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that sounds. I don't know. I used to be able bad. to like shut that up, mm-hmm. uh, and only recently, in like the last six months, it's it's coming back. I don't know. Maybe S- switch like, up your uh, your 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 strain. Uh, I don't think it's that. You don't I don't think, it's, think it's that. I don't think it's related to that. No. No. Yeah, and, I'm not, and I'm not doing that every day. You know. Yeah. Uh I do take uh, the uh, those melatonin gummies, uh, but more to get to sleep. That's what my problem would be is just falling asleep. So just taking one of those, and then usually within like half an hour, I will actually start feeling sleepy, which is nice. But my like, I'm kind of learning how to sleep again because I got my CPAP machine this week. Oh sure, so it's like all like I'm in this I'm in this thing right now where I sleep with it pretty good, but I usually wake up earlier than I want to. Like you're saying, Bacalar. And I almost feel good, but I'm up too early. So then I go back to sleep for a little bit and I take the mask off at that point because when I wake up with it right now, my nose is just so dry. So I'm still like balancing the humidifier aspect and seeing how high I need to turn that up to. But the problem is I will fall back asleep eventually. But when I go back to sleep again, then I'm kind of like it's a real weird, bad sleep. I should almost just get out of bed no matter when I wake up because it's I can't get out of it if I go back to dreamland. I uh I get the kids ready. Uh, I take them to school. I, I'm the one that drives them to school. Uh, it's, it's easy, quick drive. I get back, and Steph's usually started her work day. And so I, you know, before I'm doing game ass mornings, most days I can hop back in bed and get another hour of sleep. Really? See, so I want to understand. I want to understand you people. Oh, he froze again. I think. Um, I don't know. Like there are some people who are just like. This is this. I have ninety minutes. I'm gonna sleep now. How do you yeah. do that? Yeah, I, can't I can't do, do it. That. How do Jeff you do does, that? Jeff, Jeff loves his coffee naps. You ever hear him talk about that? His nap latte. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds, it sounds like hell to me. My naps are two hours long at least, or else I will feel terrible. So see, that's too long uh, of a nap for me. It, yeah. It, it well, it is too long a nap. And again, like I haven't felt the need to nap at least since the CPAP machine. So maybe. I think that napping was because of the horrible sleep mm. apnea. So I think that's if, a problem. I think if I started to, if I, I think if I attempted to nap, I would do it above the blankets. I would do it. I wouldn't get into yeah, bed. Oh, okay. that's, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't want my brain to be like, here we go. Time to yeah. settle down. You know, I, I want to make sure my body and brain know that this is not a serious sleep. Well, I, I would just like nap on the couch or something. Cause yeah, you'd get that. But then my, my dog, like, cannot decide if she wants on the couch or off the couch and i have to help her every time so i just get those little stairs like that i got her the stairs she doesn't like the stairs no so like no and it's a problem because oh 
that's actually what does get me up sometimes too is uh she'll like jump off the bed for whatever to get a water or to you know attempt to piss on my floor without me noticing so then i'd like get up at 5 a.m to do that and fall mm-hmm. back to sleep so that's i think i had to get her like maybe there is there's there like, ramps sleeping pills for dogs the ramp I think she's going to be afraid of the ramp, too. I don't know. There she's a coward like me. CBD hmm. droplets for dogs. Really? Okay, maybe I'll get yes. my dog high. That'd be good, too, because she has arthritis anyways. That might oh, be good yeah. for that. Is, is, there, there's, is there like empirical evidence like CBD is, is a sleep aid for sure? For for pups? Yeah. Uh, it's, well, it worked over the weekend, let me tell you. Okay. Oh. Can you just get this out like a pet smart? Yeah. I went to a uh okay. All right. There's a stream within a stream <laughs> happening here. Uh, He's back. <laughs> went to a All pet right, food express and then they had some. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some C B D for my, my dog. That's gonna be good. All right. Girl, we were talking about how, like, you saying you uh, come back from dropping the kids off and go back to sleep. Like, okay, buddy, how do you do that? How do you, like, actually fall back asleep for, like, an hour? What's going on? I I mean, as always, my answer is usually going to be, like, uh, it's. I tell myself it's okay if I don't fall asleep. So that really helps because then there's no pressure. If I tell myself it's okay if I don't fall asleep, then I'm not, like, worried about, oh, I need that extra hour of sleep. Oh, boy, I hope I fall asleep. I hope this is going to work. It's like, I'm going to lay down, and whatever happens, happens. And, I'm yeah, I'm going to make an effort to fall asleep. But if I don't, What's that's the fine. effort? What is the effort? I want to know what the effort is, because I have, like, different yeah, strategies. Uh, the, effort's, the effort's not use my phone, basically. Mm. Oh, well, that's, that's, that, that's obvious. I mean, come, I'm like... Well, yeah, but that's, <laughs> it's obvious. That's hard. That's, that's, hard. that's hard for me, yeah. I have yeah. to make it's a like, conscious oh, decision to do that, yes. Okay, so. all right, all right, whatever it takes. But, like, for me... I know that if I get into a groove of like thinking about certain things, I'm okay. done and I'm out. I got so what's actually helped me the most, besides from the gummy fall asleep, is I listen to a lot of audiobooks now and specifically drier topics like world history or real science based ones. You know, they're interesting, but it's also kind of easy to like sure. drift off after a while. And you're thinking, you know, just kind of listening along. If you start thinking about something, it's usually just elaborating on something they said so it's not something personal that you're going to get stressed off stressed you know about oh, man, i hate when i get I hate when i get stressed off by it yeah. stressed off yeah, yeah uh, so. jerry flynn comes in and just jerry. stresses you off <laughs> so i'm saying jerry flynn it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it we doesn't know matter about. okay Audio you books. want you want to know like the the actual secret magic words to say to like to help with that yeah uh, what? It, i want you to try this it might not work because we're like engaged with one another right sure. now but you say to yourself i wonder what my next thought is going to be and your brain is like, oh, no. well, what the sure. fuck do you mean? And uh-huh. it just shuts off. It shuts off. <laughs> I promise you. And you pass tr- out. You try it. Just, well, if, it, if right. suddenly you have a thought, you say that again. I wonder what my next thought is going to be. And your brain's like, what do you mean? And it just it, it will go completely it, blank. It's, it's the equivalent of like, how do you keep an idiot busy business card? Exactly. Flip over. Yes. Yeah, flip it over. <laughs> yes. It one million percent. And the weird thing is, it super duper works. Okay. It's That's, wild. It is, that is essentially counting sheep. It's just another version of it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But it's it's the one that's like really good at like immediately. Like like, as soon as you ask it, your brain's going to quiet down immediately. Huh. Okay. I mean, look, it's a new development. Um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Have I, you ever had like the Z quote gummies? Because they're they're just melatonin and like no. things like lavender, so they're not habit forming. It's not like some well, of the other shit want that's bad for you. <laughs> it's, you know, it's just a little gummy. It's like a little treat. I used to be really good friends with this like sleep doctor who I would sort of confide in and be like, "Man, what do I do?" You know, this kind of stuff. And he would always tell me like, "Look, like there's no wrong way to sleep, right?" And if your body's telling you to get up after like six or six and a half hours, like that's probably enough for you. Mm-hmm. Um, this is obviously shorter. Um, but I do think there's like, I, I think there's, I think everyone makes maybe too big of a deal of like, you need seven, like you need nine, you need whatever yeah. it is. Sure. Um, yeah. I just, my body's never told me, uh, Hey, you don't need any more sleep. Like see, it's, <laughs> but, but you know what? Like on a day where I got nothing on the weekend, I could sleep till nine 30 and be fine. So uh, it's, I don't know. We, I, I, I feel like long I can sleep in. I don't want to hear about it. Okay. I'm, I'm a broken if you're person. Missing lunch, if you're missing breakfast and lunch, uh, I don't want to hear about know it. Dude. How deep into the PM I was sleeping on weekends. But again, the CPAP. Do you know how miserable that. it is to know Mike Minotti when you're like busy with two kids <laughs> and you got sorry. all these responsibilities? I mean, and he's it's, like, it's I'm sleeping just, in it's to an too. ungodly hour. I don't have any responsibilities. No, I got all this extra money. You wake up at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. 
p.m 4 p.m that doesn't feel good <laughs> that's, that's, that's fucked up that's upsetting it's, it's, that, well, yeah. that's a sleep problem that I yeah had that's, and that's what that's, getting yeah. treated for yeah i mean i think like uh but you're more compassionate about that stuff than someone like dan is i think so. <laughs> yeah well, clearly I, you're a better person things, than dan and all things yeah. Yeah. is yeah. it no one no one's arguing is it bad that I don't gently wake up most of the time? It's kind of like a it's bolting violent. up. Is a punch? Yeah. Probably. Well, you're on a machine already. So I'm on a machine, but it's always at a specific time, though. I don't it's know. If anyone about... else, I would think it was a problem with you. That sounds right, Jan. No, I mean, you're ninety percent coffee. You're 90, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say you're ninety percent caffeine as it is. Yeah. See, like, that's the problem. Anytime I do tell my friends any any like miscellaneous thing they think is a problem, they'll be like, "It makes sense for you, though." I'm like yeah, oh shit uh because yeah, but i on the dot yeah, 5 a.m 5 5 a.m just like pff. all right cool all right let's go uh i am a hundred percent more likely to fall asleep at 5 a.m <laughs> yeah when you I see like i can't go past 3 a.m like i really? i can't be uh yeah awake longer than you. like 12 now if i if i see any sign of the sun rising before i've gone to bed my my body just goes into like self destruct mode. It is that can be it, a problem. It's just like you fucking asshole. What have you done? It's bad you know? for the psyche. What's the last yeah. time that happened, to you guys? Because I did that like a couple weeks ago. When oh, I was, last uh, week. Yeah, and I was like, oh, oh, this was real bad stuff. Oh, and then I, it was I, a day where I had to take the kids to school and everything. So oh, I'm like, I'm just gonna stay up. Oh, that that gives me so much anxiety. Just yeah, it wasn't great. It was. Oh, I did not feel good about it. You know, I, I can't remember last time. I, really I think can't. it was when I was like really, really, really deep into Marvel Snap. Oh, yeah. Sure. So sometime yeah. last year. You were driving playing that, I heard. So. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, we've been meaning to talk to you about that. That's yeah, a lot of things to problem, joke about. Dude. Yeah, man, it's messed up. Sleeping. Thanks, guys. Uh, it, <laughs> but it yeah, makes sense for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I also sleep with someone who is like, has so many strange sleep oddities that like, that's not doing me any favors either. Like one thirty a.m. guaranteed wakes up and thinks there's like a huge spider on the ceiling. Like, oh, fun! Speaks a lot um, and just is constantly like, "Yo," freaking out over something. Like it's it's really. Uh, I can open up weird. a whole can of worms here, and I won't. Emmy okay. will uh, have full on like conversations or just yeah. speaking normally. And I'll look over. I'm like, "Are you?" You awake? You are you awake? And then she'll be like, blah, 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 "But what about our dear friend?" And here's this intimate, specific detail. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to hear that's common, dude. That honestly makes me feel really good. Why do you people want to sleep with people? I don't. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> I don't get it. Dude, why can't you have separate rooms? That's okay. So, I mean, okay. Whatever. Have, I hate, have I a seat. Hate, no, 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 my no, 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 have a seat. Pull up a chair and turn around. But after, you know, come, come together for that, and then everyone go to your fucking bed. Go to your room. Okay. I mean, if, my God. if you've got the space for it, just get a king size bed. Is all I can say. King size bed is a real thing. Yes, it's a game that, changer. Hey, you need a king size bed if you got it. If you got two people. Here's sure. the thing, the though. Had it right. Here's the thing, though. My partner, my partner has said, brought this up as a joke, and I feel very serious sometimes. I'm like. You know what if when we move we have just separate bedrooms and I'm like what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, she's right. I don't know why everyone doesn't do that. Of course, I'm one so, million percent. Okay. Because I want the dog on the bed, right? Because okay. like I I I want a pup, but she has terrible allergies, so like she'll yeah. wind up sneezing an obscene amount when yeah. when the pup is on the bed, and she'll be like, "Well, if we have two different bedrooms," I'm like, "The fuck are you talking about though? Like, what are we? How are we gonna talk, talk to each other?" Yeah, and nine times out of ten. I'm gonna have to be the one that leaves or whatever. Uh, I, I I do think, Jen, that you're on to I do think like again, I, I'm I don't subscribe to any like traditional marriage like uh, archetype, but like I do think there is something about sharing a bed that is that is ninety percent of like the agreement you make <laughs> okay. when you get married. <laughs> you're right. That's, <laughs> you why, I, that's like, why I'm not going for it. I'm just <laughs> saying like that's but my number one complaint, but, my number but, one issue with this whole institution. No, but 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 this is what I'll say what I'll say to follow up is like if I'm not doing that, I it doesn't feel right. You know, like I think it there's something mm -hmm. about it that like you I become very it. accustomed to and it's very comforting and warm and you know. Wait, okay, if you, Mike, if, if it was two rooms, 
Should mm-hmm. there be a third room that is the fucking room? Is that like... <laughs> no. Or do you just no. switch off? You can go yeah. and visit the you other need... person but, but, in their it's room. It's called a dojo, please. A dojo. <laughs> you, you can have sleepovers if you want to sometimes, like as a treat, but I just cool. think that cool, cool, cool. in general, you should you have your sleep own over room and your own bed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Look, I like how you oh, you're trying to talk yourself out of bringing it up for the first second. I did, and I couldn't yeah. help myself. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, well, you do this to yourself. It's a slippery slope, and there I go. Okay, <laughs> Jeff Grubb. Slide. Uh, uh, all right, I I missed a couple of these, so I might pick one that you guys have already selected. I'll go with this one: twelve foot skeleton. We do that one? Yeah. Mm-mm. No. Uh, hey, uh, guys, I was driving home, and I'm gonna go ahead and declare that the twelve uh, foot skeleton is dumb now. Uh, I'm driving through the Bougie District on the way home, and I've seen at least seven of them. And, like, the first one, I was like, oh, cool, it's the 12-foot skeleton. Now I'm like, oh, no. Another 12-foot skeleton. So, uh, so I give you guys the official following on it. They're done. No more. No more 12-foot skeletons. Yeah, you're right. Like I, but it's like the alternative here is we're going to be hipster about Halloween decorations. No, well, but Jeff, he has a point because it's but, the same it thing in my dumb. house. What's yeah. that? It was always dumb. Like oh, the, yeah. well, the first time you saw one, you were like, "Whoa, look at this <laughs> fucking thing!" You know. <laughs> and now that like you can big just dumb fucking thing, yeah, yeah. But now that I, I feel like I've been on streets where like six houses on the street have the same thing, and I'm just like. Okay. Well, All right. What do we, we do we, about no. this? It, okay. Come on, guys. Come on. We what do we do about this? Halloween is for children. No. no. Oh, you're, I knew you were Disagree. Do it. No, it's not Disagree. anymore. Not anymore. It is you're not allowed, the pizza of holidays. Allowed, it is children. not the cheese pizza you're of allowed holidays. Allowed to you're enjoy it. To like I things. enjoy it. I yes, I enjoy things that children. That's for children all the time. I watch Marvel movies. That's for kids. <laughs> I enjoy them too. But it's for kids. And I tell you, a kid never gets tired of twelve foot skeletons. Uh, they don't I get think tired a kid, of three think, foot skeletons. They are like, I'm like, I'm for this fucking rules every time. I don't know. I, I I think we're just you know agreeing to disagree here. I think if you pass by the same house doing the same thing, you're <laughs> and like, you're like, well, let me put on my uh, yeah. my artsy wig and come out no, here. It's, and not, you, it's not an artsy what's wrong thing. With your yard here, you're just not hip. You're not cool. Get with I, the times. It has nothing what are we to do talking with, about? No, I don't think it's a cool thing. It, it's not a cool thing. I think it's more confusing. I think it's more of just like, was it? How do we how do we get here? How did we get here? Where like everyone was like, well, we all are gonna do well, here this we are. now. Here's where we are. So I imagine once upon a time, there's like one asshole who brought in a pine tree. Everyone's like, did you see like the Phillips that got a tree in their house? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. So then like, a, the like three years later, Phillips. it's like, oh, there's too many people with trees in their house. It's not cool anymore. But then it eventually got over that hump, and it's just now you have to have a tree. Maybe we're like ten years away from just. It's expected of you to have a 12-foot skeleton. If you don't, That is the Christmas tree of Halloween. This is the Christmas. It's going to be the new Christmas tree. It's a 12-foot skeleton. I Look, I enjoy when I see, like, a house that is just fucking over the top and just, like, Mm -hmm. it just doesn't look like everything else. That's all. Uh, You you like theming and decoration, so do I. I I just think that... Well, I know. I guess we do... a little devil on his shoulder, Mike. Ooh, I like that, too. Come on, let's go. (laughs) You're right. You are. Uh, No, I don't know. It is funny that, like... it. Like I said, like it's just crazy where everyone was like, this is the year we're going to buy this thing. No, this is the year we're going to buy this thing. It's like, all right. Well, because cool. you know, I mean, they don't, yeah, I'm not mad. People, I'm not mad. They at don't even it, sell you know? it anymore. They're, they're like that. They're, they what? have new. They have new 12 foot skeletons now. Like, well, now like, they have ones that's like half coming out of the ground. Right. Yeah, they have all yeah. kinds of different ones. Yeah, you get the yeah. Jack Skellington. Yeah, we, yeah. But we're considering that because okay. like it a lot. There you go. I I yeah. saw this on the Tickety Tockety's, but apparently their stores are now selling a uh, Jack O' Lantern kit with a fake pumpkin. So instead of like buying a pumpkin, uh, unpumpkining the insides. You just have like a plastic shell that you're cutting out. It yeah. must be like styrofoam or something. Yeah. To yeah. do your own design. appeals to me. I think that's I think, okay. I think the pumpkins are it's shocking from the guy that's like fruit. I think the inside of pumpkins are pretty gross. They, so. they are, but it's a right. It's, it's fun Yo, to carve pumpkins. Here's the like, thing. Like, right passage. I think Halloween you know, is now approaching, especially with the twelve foot skeletons. Halloween is quickly approaching. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, capitalism is trying to. Take over Halloween. It's oh, it, yeah, oh, buddy. oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Even more so that. than it already you know, has. We, we, we lost the real hot 
outside of the true meaning of Halloween. Yeah. Bring yeah. Christ back into Halloween. What are you talking about? Scaring the shit I mean, out of everyone. No, but, this, he's right, but he's right. It's like there's tears, right? Because it used to be like, this is a good day for us to sell the fucking candy that we made too much of. And sure. now it's like. We have, we're, we're attacking it from all sides with the capitalism. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> the war you, on Halloween. <laughs> you tell, are you telling Put me? Put the Halloween back in Halloween is what I've always said. Are you telling said. me that the, the rise of pumpkin-flavored things isn't due in part to also take over Halloween? This is oh, the build-up, folks. Yeah, of course. Dude, of course. Fall, dude, the fall is there. seven months long now. Have you not noticed? <laughs> fall, fall is a year now. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I gotta stop. We, we gotta educate. Okay, so people are are, are pointing out in chat that uh, the slutty Halloween costumes. Clearly, this is a, a thing for adults, and it's like you guys don't even oh. understand your own boners. The whole thing <laughs> that makes it like exciting to you is that it's depraved. That you're like, it's like, oh, they're wearing a slutty Mario costume. That's a thing I liked as a kid. It's like when Roblox is on Pornhub or whatever. It's like it, it's it's fun and exciting because it used to be the thing I liked when I was a kid, and now I'm an adult. And I still get wee wee woo woo wazoos about that and stuff. This is a, 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 it's a hol- it's a holiday for kids, and then yes, we find ways to make it for us by dressing like goddamn sluts. So yeah, of course. What are the holidays for adults? Hey, Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, um, not even, not even Arbor- a joke. Kids don't like St. Patrick's Day. We have to invent like things like ah, uh, maybe you'll find gold <laughs> yeah. if you're lucky. <laughs> Independence Day, yeah. Uh, mm, I, don't, I feel kids like love, yeah, kids love Fourth kids of love July fireworks. Kids and hot dogs. For sure. But right, but that again, I think that's like uh, we are going to teach them the history lesson, and we're going to have the fire. The fireworks are definitely a bigger part of it now. Yeah. I mean, Valentine's Day again. We try to get the kids involved by getting them like cards to their friends. Right. It's a ki- it's a kids one too for sure. Yeah, that's I, a kid I think one. If, when I didn't get some of those candy grams growing up as a kid, I learned. I learned hey, that I was hey, not Jan? as handsome. Hey, Jan, I choo choo choose you, buddy. Nice. Right back at you. <laughs> nice. Right. Swag. Uh, swag. <laughs> All right, Mike. Swag. Yes. You're up, uh, buddy. All right. Um, yeah, Spindrift. I want to learn more about Spindrift. Oh. Me too. Sakawar, due to your recent mentions of Spindrift, I have nice. purchased myself an eight pack of Spindrift sparkling water and real squeeze fruit lime flavor. And this is Lime? my. Library action. Here we go. Oh, cool. This is this is the one I would want. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, good sign. You know, not too bad. Yeah. It's not sweet, right. but I didn't expect it. Honestly, not too bad. <laughs> and considering I got it cheap. So my question to you, Vacuar, is: Is two ninety nine a good price for an eight pack of Spindrift? Thanks. Love you guys, and keep up the good work. Yo, that's a steal. Two ninety nine for an eight pack? That's unheard of. Where was this call? Where was this person calling from? I didn't write their phone I, number I, down. I bet I could find it for that price in Ohio. To be honest, I, I thought you, said you is, couldn't find it at all. No, that's basically you're right. free. Yeah, if I could. Could you that's find basically it, Jeff? free. Uh, Steph mentioned because she's the one that buys the the sparkling water stuff, and she gets a whole bunch of because the bubbly, I think, is what you have. That's what we have, have a bunch of. Um, she's like, no, no Spindrift is too expensive, so I don't get that. I'm oh, like, oh, okay, shit. Cool. okay, but you do see it. If I if she I might get see it, it, I haven't seen it. I don't know. If I get an eight pack for less than six dollars, I'm very very happy. Okay. Uh, we don't have Kroger. I think it's in no, Kroger. We don't have Kroger. We don't have. And we don't have any we of have, its uh, affiliated Kro- brands. We have Giant Eagle. You have, you have Safeway? Uh, do you have... What do you have? No. Yeah, I got a Safeway. We, are, we might as well be in different countries. Yeah. I, no, no, I don't, Kroger oh. owns most grocery stores at this point. They just yeah, don't own a grocery it. store chain. You have Piggly Wigglies? That's a South. What? Piggly a Everything's Vons? just a cartoon fucking I attraction for you? I get excited about Piggly you? Wiggly, too. Piggly uh, Wigglies, that's no, a real chain. On the, on the East Coast, it's like um, Stop and Shop, uh, King's is like a big one. King's. King's, I think, is owned by Kroger now, but yes. Okay. Yeah. We go to, oh, uh, there are TJs. Who owns, uh, who owns oh, TJs. You, get, you get Spindrift at TJs. Giant Eagle's its own thing, I think, Mike. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant yeah. Eagle since I was a kid. Kro- Sean, Kroger's are in uh, Ohio. They're not in North Northeast Ohio. They specifically yeah. left a Northeast Ohio like 30 years ago or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I've never seen a Kroger. Yeah. It's weird. Um. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll get it on Amazon, too. Like, I'll get, like, a 24-pack for, like, never, 15 bucks. I never think about buying food stuffs on Amazon, even though I know it's, like... You should. Why not? Yeah, I, you're right. Like, why get not? My, I get all my wasabi peas from Amazon. 
You know, mm. Mm. that's that's not the, bad. It's the move. It's the move, folks. Uh, okay, Jan, you're up. Uh, uh, let's get real. Let's do regain control. Hey, jumpers. Quick question for you. The last couple of weeks, I've been having a really hard time kind of focusing on work and feeling motivated for, like, you know, not even just work, but just kind of personal projects in general, just having a hard time really focusing my energy on, on productive tasks. Uh, though I have been playing more video games. I don't know if those two things are related. But um, what's something that you guys do to try and center yourself and bring your attention back and kind of regain control of your own attention? Thanks. Push-ups. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Yeah, push-ups? Okay. Push-ups. Working out in general always yeah. helps. It's hard because, like, then you yeah, have to get yourself out. motivated to go work out. But if That's you can, like, focus all your energy on that – like that just uh, makes you so much more, I don't know, ready to go for everything else. That's the, that's actually the answer. I got a friend who uh, just gutturally yells uh, occasionally yeah. to get him focused. That's uh, what he does. Right. If you like, if going to a gym's a lot, just go. Yeah, like just go for a walk. Even do push-ups. Do something. That's active. That's also partially what I do. Uh, the the folks I went to Pax West can attain uh, can <laughs> c- confirm me just going oh. <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. Throughout the time, yeah, there. it seemed, it it seemed like it centered you. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm all for it. I approve. Yeah. But the working out, God, that is a huge thing. I, I went, out, we did a ton of walking and hiking on this trip, and I came back feeling like, oh, let's fucking go, yeah. Cold showers too. I, I, mean, I know I always talk about them, but I just, I'm, yeah, I yeah, you know, can't do them. But I'm not. Listen, you don't I'm want to do them. Don't, don't do them. Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm not telling anyone to do them if they don't want to. But if you want to try it, it does work. Yeah. So there's a few people in chat saying ring fit adventure if you want to marry the video game things uh i should try that yeah i should get back on that i i I like that i just at least get you up 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 and moving and like you know the the tension in the ring is enough to yeah to get going you can like uh you can have it on in the background and like uh have the joy con attached to it and like do the thing and it'll count how many compressions you're doing like while you're watching tv or something i actually really like the Wii balance board because it did an okay job at like tracking yoga stuff Sure. Ed Bigley oh, Jr. still yeah. does We Fit every day. Oh. Okay, I don't know if that's true. He did it like 10 years ago. He was still doing it every day, but I just imagine he still does hey, it Hey, am I day. the only one who's, who's sitting down right now? I'm also no, sitting. No, Jan's sitting down. Okay. That's about, that's, but, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Jan. You think he's you think he's standing up? Kind of. Look at my like, fridge. Like, look at the angle of the fridge. How tall do you think my, my, my man is? <laughs> look, I wasn't paying attention to the background. <laughs> I just feel like, I feel like standing up a lot more would help. I should get a standing desk situation. I stand up on this show. This is a good show to stand yeah, up on. I promise it's a good stand I've had, show. We've yeah. had the same desk uh, since like 2005, and I just am terrified of changing my setup now. Uh, good. Uh, okay, great. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Thanks for it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to bowl you over with that interesting awesome. little factoid I, there. About I was done yes ending, and I'm like, Backlar's going to pick this up. No problem. <laughs> it's, uh, All right. You know, it's fine. Uh, oh, but I I'm just bore you too much. It's <laughs> because you didn't work in a fucking Disney attraction to explain your fucking death si- well, uh, situation. Well, maybe you would have said something if I did. Maybe you would have <laughs> engaged with me if I had brought up Pirates of the Caribbean again. I, yeah. I love the beef that is developed. Developing. It's gonna, it's gonna get real hot. It's no, gonna be it's a not. Beef. Be- it's not. No, 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 no. It's a beef. It's a beef. I can't wait no. for you kids to meet in real life. It's I can't. So much I fun. can't wait Bacalar, for this to boil over. Me? Yeah, like Bacalar's I. We gotta settle this people. in a cage. I'm not. Yeah. Like I don't. Oh my god. This is. This is not. This is a not like sing off. Hyperbole. Like I genuinely wish. Mike Bad was closer. Things. Like, I just, like, you know, oh, like, that's, could, like, you too, Jeff. Uh, you too, for sure. Yeah, for sure, like, for sure. more, more. But, me, like, I've, me, but, like more. we've gotten to hang out, right? Like, yeah, yeah you know, uh, that's why, look, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I, you know, everything's on the table about moving to the Midwest. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can like just move right. all of New Jersey. New Jersey should be honorary Midwest. We should just pick that whole place up, move it a little bit closer. N- no, no, I, I like suburban where it New is. Jersey. I've been there, Bacalar. You took me around. That's just like a nicer Columbus, Ohio. I've never yeah, seen I mean, anything like it. What? <laughs> anything like New Jersey? Living in California, I'm like, yeah, wow, this is not really that like that nothing is not out there. I've ever seen. Look at these lawns. <laughs> Look at these things. What do you call them? Lawns? <laughs> Yo, this grass is so green. None of the shit is brown. Do y'all got droughts out here? Is it rain here? The shit is brown. And that's a... Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, we will pivot into the next voicemail. We only got about 10 minutes here, folks, because right after the show is Friday Night Forking. Woo. If you're watching live, uh, let's uh, uh, selfishly, let's do uh, let's do hockey jerseys. Hey, dump truck crew, Jeff from Elkhart. I've been getting really into wearing hockey jerseys lately. I bought a San Jose Sharks jersey. What are some other great hockey jerseys uh, that are out there? They can be old or new. I'm just kind of curious. Thanks. Bye. Oh, boy. Uh, minor league jerseys. You want to really get in mm. there and find some good ones. There's Lake Erie Monsters. Of, yeah, Lake Erie Monsters. All the good names are, are taken by uh, uh, minor league teams. <laughs> I think, um, well, look, I think there are a lot of good NHL jerseys, and I would actually recommend getting one now before they switch over to uh, the new uh, supplier, right? Fanatics yeah. is going to be Fanatics, for the 24-25 yeah. season, which everyone seems to be a little uh, skittish about. Yeah, they're going to fall apart in your hand, yeah. Yeah, who knows? I Look, like, uh, I think the... The NHL's like uh, reverse retro jerseys are so sick. I think, oh yeah, like that Sharks one that's like baby blue, uh, yellow and white is like out of control. I think that jersey's super sick. The Devils one's amazing. I got myself one of those. Like, I think the the Coyotes jerseys over the years have been really really dope. Um, I mean, there's not a bad jersey. There's not a bad sweater in that entire league, in my opinion. You know. If you're wearing it just for the fashion sense, like you can really do no wrong, I think. Yeah, I, I think the Red Wings is a classic one, but I think, yeah, um, uh, yeah you kind of can't go wrong. Um, I think it's okay. The Chicago Blackhawks are still getting away with it, right? Because they have like an agreement with the Blackhawk tribe, right? Is that how that works? I don't know. And I'm now saying, I'm now taking what you've said as gospel. Okay. Because I, 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 <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I watch their games, they're like, they bring out people from the Blackhawk tribe and stuff, uh, I think, and they're like, hey, well, we are buddy buddy with this. Because the like, problem is, if they're Indians, into the, it, uh, Native Americans were not happy with the uh, Cleveland Indians. We yeah, because they're not Indian, today. right? Yeah, yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah that's sure. A big problem. That, what did you see? Our mascot? Very flattering. Right. Yeah. And it's like, and then another one's like, here's the color of their skin. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, that seems like a weird, tacky thing to call a football team is a, yeah. a person's skin color. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, man, that Blackhawk jersey is gorgeous. It just, yeah, it's, it's a really it's nice real jersey. Cool. I also, gorgeous. Blackhawks have not had the smoothest last couple of years, organization. Oh, no, speaking. yeah. Um, absolutely. Yes. I mean, it's a terrible organization. Yes. The jersey, though, is still very good. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you know, yeah, sure. I do have a Penguins jersey. It's pretty nice. I like yeah, it. Yeah, Penguins makes it a nice. I, I like all the winter classic jerseys. I like the stadium series jerseys. This year, Devils are going to play the, the Flyers at MetLife Stadium. And that, I can't wait to see that jersey. Like, look, you're obviously getting a very biased opinion here. I don't think any sport can touch the uniforms that hockey players get i think their jerseys are the best I know, like, you know i me think baseball i have a thing with yeah baseball. but like you know i don't know i don't i don't think you can really express that much on a baseball jersey i don't uh, think i think there's i think there's I mean, more there's that's just my a bit opinion more, there's definitely a bit more going on with hockey jerseys i admit you know we um, should just be wearing like flight suits yeah i, I don't yeah. like any jerseys i the flight suit i'm down with that like but, in uh, top gun the, the top gun or like uh get the helmets uh, the, talladega knights helmets. Oh sure, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's like a that's tackier with all the sponsors, which maybe is fun, but I don't know. I, I basically just want the Top Gun helmets, like the idea that in this branch of the government you get like specialized uh, graphic helmets. Yeah, with your cool go, nickname on it. With your nick cool nickname, yes, exactly. We should uh, we should have like denim vests, like biker vests with oh, like cool patches? patches. Yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be, be sick. Fun. I mean, we were definitely getting uh, and, and uh, murdered by a real actual biker gang. Oh, like a rival one. gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. Whatever. It's worth mm -hmm. it. Hey, fashion, fashion, the cost of fashion. Am I right? Exactly. Yes. Are the, are the, I, That's Anaheim Ducks are still a thing, right? Because I like that. Yeah. They are not the ducks Mighty ducks, ducks anymore, but they are the Ducks. Anaheim they Ducks. Should, they should but, just be the Mighty Ducks. No, but <laughs> oh, they I do have, I think their third jersey, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, their, their retro throwback one definitely was Mighty Ducks themed. Yeah. Cool. I'm pretty sure it, it, it honors the, the, the quack mask. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah, I mean that was great. I I, I do that love that jersey. Was good. Yeah, that's a weird cartoon show though. I didn't really like that. They were like hockey players, but also crime fighters. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, and and also ducks for reals. <laughs> for shoot. Yeah, yeah they didn't do any of the knuckle puck 
in that uh, no. in that cartoon, and I was really disappointed. <sighs> That was I like the idea of having like your it's like wrestling you have your signature hockey moves the flying V the huck the knuckle puck the fuckle knuck yep that's that's, what they, that's the real one in, in real hockey Connor McDavid is doing the fuckle knuck every night oh, Bedard already scored yeah when, it's gonna be rough uh, remember my ducks too when like the flying V wasn't enough so then they had to get the knuckle puck that's kind yeah. of like. High drama. It was like it's like uh, Dragon Ball Z kind of like yeah, the yeah. Up and stuff. You can't yeah. watch those movies and just be like, let's let's examine what's happening. What, what, what are you <laughs> talking about? You, you, you just simply cannot. And you know the most egregious of everything is them rollerblading through a mall, which is just like that was really completely cool. insane. Completely. Oh, insane. back in the I'm sure I in the early '90s that just happened all the time, right? I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm I would have seen that. To do that. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go rollerblading the mall right now. I, I saw them all here. <laughs> Uh, there's a great comment in chat that I have to read. Remember in Mighty Ducks 2, they had to go to the inner city of LA to learn how to play hockey. That is exactly <laughs> That right. happens exactly. in every kid's movie from the 90s to early 2000s. Was that, yep. just, was that just them all stealing from Rocky 3? Is that what that was? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Probably. It's awesome. Look, if you can, if you have the means, try, try playing hockey. It's a lot of fun. Playing hockey? sounds hard. I yeah, but I'm, not saying, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you should, oh, not Mike. Me. You don't think I can? Yeah. Do, you don't think you don't believe in me, Black Lord? <laughs> You're I'm not Italian enough. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> who's, the, right. who's the greatest Italian hockey player of all time, Black yeah. <laughs> Uh I don't know. Maybe like a dude on like the 1980 team. I'm sure there was an Italian dude. Yeah, a lot of mustaches back. Because we, we, no, uh, we, we don't there was got no to too much of the ice in the home country. We are uh, making it to a gelato. <laughs> <laughs> Gelato would be a good name for a hockey player. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's wrap it up, folks. Uh, I went to chat for the next one, and someone in chat named Jan Joe smiled to my face. I realize this is cheating a bit, but. I tried to do this once you yelled at me, but okay, fine. Hey, guys. It's Brad from Long Island again. Hope uh, everyone's been doing well. Uh, did anyone convert to being a porn again, Christian? Just wondering. Okay, now that that's out of the way, um, I love you guys a lot, and uh, this week I actually lost my grandpa, and uh, you guys always make everything great, so if you could say, I don't know, just talk about some funny stuff all the time, or some funny moments that you've had, uh, probably would bring a smile on my face. I always love you guys, banter. Uh, thank you again, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye. All right, I got Hopefully one. Man. I got one because I went camping, right? I went camping. The pup really likes camping, really likes being outside. She doesn't normally dig holes when we go for walks, but this little rascal digging little holes all over our campsite, right? <clears throat> and then I, my partner was like, oh, we should really fill in these holes so no one trips. And I'm like, no one's going to trip over this fucking hole. It's fine. A minute later, I'm carrying, <laughs> carrying a bunch of food that I've prepared for our friends. And then I trip and fall and spill all the food because <laughs> of this little rascal and her little holes. Mm-hmm. Little Frick. scamp. Little scamp. That's like the office with the chili, right? Yes, it was exactly like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Did they say uh porn again, Christian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what was that? Or that's porn again. Said. Yeah, that's what they said. Again. Porn again. Okay. Yeah. Porn I mean, again. I imagine the uh, ratio of Christians who watch porn like daily is very high. Oh, oh it's 100%. Yeah. Uh-huh, what yeah. Are you ta- yeah. Yeah, they should like, just yeah. accept it. They should just kind of make it part of canon that, like, <laughs> you know, Jesus. Jesus they accepted it. Jesus they wouldn't said, be born again okay. Christians. So, like, yeah, yeah that's, that's that's not a... how that works. No, okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> born again. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, Mike, you're Catholic. Yeah. You're very far away from a born again Christian. Like, it's yes. a completely different species of Christian. You're right. You're, good. you're right. It's still Christian. It's yeah. We uh... no, no. It's completely but... different flavor. You're good. But what swings him back on uh, on track is the Disney thing, I think, oh, yeah. which I've now made a definitive conclusion on, my theory. Uh, oh. Yeah. I have a theory that all Disney people are very religious. Sure. Mm, that's probably they need like some religion. big house to, to worship. Yeah. There is it's one messiah figure. <laughs> they mm-hmm. can but, occasionally drink there. Mike, mm-hmm. you did tell the story on the show about you... Being a, 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 a candle an altar boy. server, 
altar boy at oh, yeah. Disney, right? Yeah, it was yep. an altar oh, boy. Oh, okay. So at the Disney prophecy World. is complete, I see. Yeah. Well, because at Epcot, because we would go for um, Christmas a couple times, but Easter quite a few times for, for some reason. We would keep going during Easter, probably because we didn't have school. What so the fuck easy. are you talking about? We would go you to went to Disney for Easter? Yeah. Okay. A bunch of times. It was great. A and bunch of times? Well, <laughs> yeah, at least three. That's crazy. Uh, that is crazy. So, but Good like, for you. They would have mass at one of the ballrooms in the contemporary. They would they have just... mass. Oh, dude. I'm going insane, Mike. Dude, yeah, that, is, that is unfathomable because to me. We were, because we were altar boys back home, we could be altar boys there. So yeah, I was an altar boy at Disney World. You Easter were a mass. card carrying the altar boy? Like, dude, like oh, well, clearly. I, he knows I, was, what he's yeah, I literally go. Throughout. I literally say I think all adult Disney people are religious, and then you proceed to explain how you've been to. Di you're like, you're like, first you scratched your beard, and you're like, I don't know about that, and then you <laughs> talked about, <laughs> then, you, then you talked about being in at Disney for Easter multiple times, yeah. attending mass. Well, it's not like we thought it was some spiritual thing. Just, you know. That's all. That's all. It's just like, Your Honor, parade. please, Your Honor, please. It's how weird. much more evidence do you need? It is it's weird because when I was a kid, like especially for Christmas, there was a lot of like the Jesus Christmas stuff in Disney World. Still, like they did the Man. live nativity. Uh, in that, the that's what's getting me. It's like it's like hard that. to imagine that bridge still being like crossed. It's like these right. days, yeah. it's like. Oh, we have uh, listen. Everyone's welcome. Like, man, now all the gods are pretty dope. And it's like, but back then it was just like, no, this is, of course, the Christian white god. That's our god. Yeah, we're Disney. <laughs> they, they do still the they they still do the candlelight procession in Epcot, which is like a really pretty choir thing. But they like do they read from the Bible during it, uh, and they always have like special guests there. And Neil Patrick Harris did it the one time I was there. <laughs> It was yeah, funny because yeah, he came yeah. out and, you know, he's going to read from the Bible and like, you know, stuff. And like he came out, like the girl started wooing. And he had to be like, all right, stop wooing. Uh, this <laughs> well, is like a I'm serious thing. Read from <laughs> the like, Bible here. Everyone. Right, right. Keep it so, in your pants, please. NPH loves Disney. Uh, he, he, he he made a special margarita at the Cova del Tequila. By the way, tequila.